we talked about how we have two main levers in the outreach process. First, we can make sure we are following up in a timely professional manner. Second, we hone our emails and phone calls to speak to our ICP's business needs, wants, pains, and fears. In this next section, we're going to hone in on the messaging piece. We'll take a look at how to write and format a sales prospecting email. This is a critical skill because the better our messaging is, the more likely it'll resonate with prospects. And the more likely our message resonates, the more likely we are to book a meeting with them. Let's begin with the two components of an email. There are two main components of the email, and the first is a subject line. This is the first thing anybody sees when you email them, right? It's the first thing that pops up in your inbox next to the name of the sender. The purpose of the subject line is to prompt the reader to open your email. You want to keep your subject line short and enticing. What is going to make them want to open that email and read further? The goal is to pique their interest, rather not sound like a used car salesman. You can judge if your subject line is successful or not by measuring the open rate. That is the number of people that are actually opening the email that you send. And you divide that number by the emails you sent. We'll dig more into subject lines in a bit. Number two is going to be the contents of the email itself. This is what people are reading when they open your email. Most often the content of a sales email is written words, but it can also include images, GIFs, links. The possibilities are endless. You can even include a little video clip of yourself that sends a more personalized live direct message. And that is personally something that I love to take advantage of. I think adding a video of myself just saying a few words is really adds a personal touch and the reader feels like I really am speaking to them. It's not just a mass generated email. Now the purpose of this content is to entice the reader to take action. And what is the action you want them to take? That's for them to book an appointment with you. You are trying to motivate them to do something. And it could be a very straightforward response that you're looking for, which is them getting an appointment with you, or it could just be something more passive, like making sure you are top of mind awareness to them. You can measure the rate of success of your email efforts through response rate, open rates, and you can measure that against the number of emails you are actually sending. Now we're going to unpack both components a little more. 